This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay is organizing the 11th batch design contest from March 1st to April, April 31st. The PCBWay 11th batch design contest is here! Let's make your batch design a reality. And for a chance to win $500 in cash plus $200 with coupon. Design a batch using PCB, PCB Plus Assembly, PCB Plus 3D Printing, or similar methods featuring PCB Way and the number 11. Send it to sponsor at PCBWay.com. This contest is more than competition. It's a celebration of 11 years of innovation and chance to dream about the boundless possibilities ahead with PCB Way. Hello. A uh, flame detector is an electronic device designed to sense the presence of flame or fire. There are several types of flame detectors including ultraviolet, infrared, multispectrum detectors and optical flame detectors. In the device described in this project, we will use an infrared type of flame detector which is widespread, inexpensive and has satisfactory characteristics. This time I will use uh, this, uh, a cheap infrared detector module that has a built-in infrared receiver and infrared transmitter uh, LED that sends out infrared energy and looks for reflected infrared energy to detect the response of any obstacle in front of the sensor module. The module also has an onboard potentiometer that let, let the, lets the user adjust the detection range. The, hand, the, the sensor has a very good and stable response, even in ambient light or in complete darkness. Now, for the needs of our project, we will modify this module uh, in such a way that we will simply remove the infrared transmitter LED and the remaining infrared receiver LED will need to detect the presence of a flame, which is a source of infrared light. Infrared LED has the ability to detect a light source in, in the infrared part of the spectrum. In case of a flame, most of the spectrum that is emitted is in that infrared region. In addition to the infrared sensor, we also use a microcontroller, which, when detecting a flame from the sensor, activates other processes, in this case a light and sound alarm, as well as a pump immersed in a water tank which at the moment begins to ext extinguish the flame uh, to prevent its spread. Actually, I made this device together with one of my students and it is a high school graduation project. Uh, the device is very simple to make and consists of only a few components. Arduino Uno microcontroller board infrared flame detector module, water pump with hoses, 5 volt relay module, two LEDs with appropriate current uh, limiting resistors, buzzer, and batteries, in my case, two lithium cells in series with total 7.4 volts for MCU and one cell for water pump. Uh, let's first analyze the hardware part. The main part of the water pump is an electric motor which requires a current of more than 100 milliamps to operate. On the other hand, the Arduino outputs can only handle a current of up to 40 milliamps. For this reason, the water pump is connected via an electromagnetic relay module which consumes about only 20 milliamps. The pump also uses a separate power source because the motor brushes parking often resets the microcontroller because they are previously connected to the same source. Also to, av to avoid these interferences 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitors are connected in parallel with the pump, uh, next uh, the relay contacts and the power supply for the Arduino. LEDs are by definition current co consumers, so they are connected to the Arduino outputs through current limiting resistors 
with a value of 470 ohms. So according to Ohm's law, a current of about 5 milliamperes with flow through them. The buzzer is a component that connects directly to the Arduino and is controlled by pulse width modulation. As for the Arduino code, it can be seen that it is extremely simple and therefore realable, which should be a basic feature for this type of device. At the beginning, a variables, variables are defined and created, and then in voice setup, uh, the inputs and outputs are defined as well as their starting values. At the end, in the loop function, we, uh, we use uh, if else statement that allows us to make decisions depending on the value of the variable. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. We need to adjust the sensitivity of the infrared sensor detector using this small potentiometer. Now the sensor is adjusted and we can connect the pump. As we see, if a flame appears in the front on the sensor, uh, an audible and visual alarm will be activated and the water pump will start drawing water from the tank to extinguish the fire. And finally, a short conclusion. This Arduino project is very simple to make and has a huge practical application and represents an excellent demonstration of controlling an external devices, in our case a pump, siren and light signal, depending on some uh, occurring condition detected by an appropriate sensor.